Um, now, may we have our next contestant, please? Now, would you tell us your name and where you're from? Michael McNamara from Crown Point, New York. This is Michael McNamara from Crown Point, New York. I know what Crown Point is. Panel, if any of you happens to recognize Michael, either by looking at him or if you remember his name, this is his second appearance on I've Got a Secret. He's back with us again, of course, because he has an entirely new secret. And Michael, if you'll whisper it to me, we'll tell the people at home what it is. Do you mind, in uh, view of what you just said, if I cross my fingers, because this may be one of those nights? Uh, <laughs> now, all I can tell you is this is something that Michael can do and is going to do. Really? But you have to figure out what it is. So, um, Betsy, dear, why don't we start with you? Again? All right. Why not again? Michael, um, <laughs> is this something that you did before when you were here? No. Is this something that maybe had been done to you, though, when you were here before? No, ma'am. No. You're going to do it... Well, you look like a magician, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it can't be Halloween. It's too close to Christmas, isn't it? Yes. Uh, is it something to do with the reason why you're wearing that outfit? Mm, no. You mean you just dressed up like that to <laughs> set us off our beaten track here? All right. Does it... Uh, are you going to do it alone? Yes. You're going to do it uh, right well. Something's peeking out of the curtain. That's twenty dollars down, sixty to go, and we go to Davy Wayne. <laughs> uh, is this something? Uh, th th this thing that you're going to do is it physical? Something physical? Yes. Um, is it acrobatic in any sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, are you going to do it alone? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, are you going to use uh, equipment to, to assist you? Yes. You know, uh, Michael, you could make those answers a little longer if you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Would uh, this equipment um, uh, cause you to do strenuous things? Yes. Uh, would it have to do with lifting weights, perhaps? If... No. Uh, that's that's you keep going Maybe you can make it shorter than that. <laughs> That's 40 down, 40 to go, and we go to Bess Meyerson. Well, Michael, David seems to have gotten very close to it. Now, is this a feat that is unusual for a boy your size? Yes. Mm -hmm. and uh, I would like to add to that, Michael, because uh, uh, you wouldn't because you're modest. It's unusual for anybody of any size. Really? Let's put it that way, yes. And uh, is there anything that you have to hold in your hand when you do this, or are you free? Yes. Yes, what? I am free. You're free. Yes, ma'am. Is it some kind of trampoline? No. You're going to swing from something? No. Well, I really don't quite know what it could be, Billy. <laughs> well, you have to understand, they don't know, you know. Yeah? Uh, that's 60 down, 20 to go. He's going to fly. Billy Cullen, you're the last Maybe hope we have. I'd like to say good evening, because it's the first time I've been on tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Hambo. All right, now, could this, uh, Michael, is this the kind of thing you might do at a circus? Is it a circus-type act? Yes. Does it require great strength? Truly. Yes, it does. You are going to hold Henry's breath for six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a lion chasing the cage. If I were you, I wouldn't dignify that with an answer. <laughs> I noticed the similarity, uh, Henry, of costumes. Uh, Michael is dressed not unlike the... A lion. Say, that's very interesting, Bill. That's eighty dollars down. Nowhere to go. You've lost. Look, you're going to be fascinated with this. I guarantee. You want us to lose? When Michael was thirteen years old, he was on this show, and he tap danced on his hands. He's aged. No, he's just about made sixteen, isn't it? Yes. Just about made sixteen. Just barely over the wire. Now, he does something that you have never seen anybody do, with the possible exception of one man, you know. if you've gone to the circus. Somebody you know. was right up close to that. Right. That's it. Right. You've got the idea. Michael can and will stand on one finger.
have to tell you, uh, we've been here, you know, we rehearsed it twice. I don't believe it. I've seen it. I've stood right there. Wait, Mike, um, since you've been here, which is about two and a half, three years, uh, I imagine you've uh, rehearsed a lot or whatever? Yes. What is it? Quite a bit. Oh, I've got to... Who taught you to do this trick? Uh, a friend of mine named Al Meadow, who was a hand balancer. Does he do the trick? No. Nope. But he taught you? Yes, he did. Good luck, Al. Uh, do you practice a lot? Yes, about a half an hour to an hour each day. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. we will see what this practice has resulted in. Would you open the curtains, please? Go right ahead, Mike. He does, can, and will stand on one finger. tell you too that the uh, the revolving that Mike does as far as I know he's the only person who does that that's not electric I mean there's no motor there that turns him he turns himself and now Mike that you've done that I think it's time for you to um, hop down if you will I couldn't even climb up that thing.